Sadako and the Thousand Paper Cranes. Sadako Sasaki was a Japanese girl living, li living in Hiroshima when the atom bomb was dropped on Japan on August 6, 1945. Sadako loved to run. She was so fast. She loved to race with everyone. She loved racing with her best friend, Chisako. Early in the fall, Sadako runs home and announced that her class has chosen her to race on the team for field day. On field day, her speed surprises all. Sadako runs so hard that at the finish line, she feels strangely dizzy and barely hears someone shout that her team has won the race. A little while later, she passes out in her classroom. She is rushed to the hospital. In the hospital, the doctor tells Sadako family that she, is, she has the dreaded atom bomb disease, leukemia. Sadako and her family are shocked and sad that she must stay in the hospital. Chisako, her best friend, visits her in the, the hospital. She brings paper and scissors. She tells Sadako the legend of the thousand paper cranes. It is said that if you fold one thousand paper cranes that your wish will come true. The girl decided that folding cranes may help her get well again. Sadako begins to fold paper cranes and her big brother helps to hang them all up. At the hospital, Sadako meets a boy named Kenji who also has leukemia. He does not get many visitors because his parents are gone and he lives so far from the hospital. They become friends. but. He becomes very weak and soon passes away. Sadako is sad but does not give up hope on getting well and keeps folding paper cranes. The leukemia makes Sadako feel tired all the time. Her mother and brother bring Sadako her favorite food and try to cheer her up but she is too weak to eat. This breaks her mother's heart. Sadako gets to go home to visit her family for Oban, a holiday celebrating the spirit of the dead who have returned to visit the people they love on earth. Sadako really misses her grandmother who was killed when the atom bomb hits Hiroshima. She enjoys seeing and praying with her family and her friends, Chisako, but it's very weak. She has to go back to the hospital. In the hospital, her mother gives her a kimono she made by hand. Sadako tried on the kimono. Sadako feels both beautiful and happy. Sadako becomes weaker and weaker in, in body, but not in spirit. That day, she folds paper cranes in number 644. It is the last crane she is able to make. Sadako is surrounded by her family when she passes away on October 25th, 1955. Sadako's classmates fold the remaining 356 cranes so that 1,000 paper cranes are buried with her. Throughout the world, young Sadako becomes a symbol of peace. Class 905 is thankful that we got to learn about the story of Sadako and the 1,000 paper cranes. Her story inspired us to be thankful for all we have.
I'm thankful for my dad and my family. I'm thankful for daddy. I'm thankful for my grandma, my baby, my sister. I'm thankful for my family and my brothers. I'm thankful for my cousins all over around the world and my and my mom and my sisters. I thank you for, for my mom and my, my dogs and my family. I'm thankful for my family and my house and my cousins. I'm thankful for my family and brothers and sister and my, um, and my grandma. I'm thankful for my mom and dad and my brother. And